What's up everybody, it's Greg Tastic. This is a video that I've been kind of planning and putting together over the last couple of weeks. I've been going through my emails and the health records that I have, just trying to get the timeline right so that I could talk about it. Um, I'm going to try and get through this, not get through it because it's not like it's a task or a chore, but I have an earache right now, so there may be a lot of editing in the video because every so often it gets like a little extra clogged up or actually as I'm speaking I'm like there's like vibrations in my right ear that are making me feel like somebody's making a lot of noises around me even though it's probably just my own noises vibrating my own ear anyway I have psoriatic or rheumatoid arthritis I'm not sure which one because they're in the diagnosis like you get to a point where it doesn't really matter because they treat them the same. So there's like further testing that I guess they could have done to give me an exact diagnosis of psoriatic or rheumatoid. But because they treat them the same regardless, we never went through that further testing. So I'm going to lean towards psoriatic because I do have like some uh, skin issues that are kind of basically like psoriasis. So where there's uh, smoke, there's fire, I guess. So we're going to say psoriatic, but again, it's not something that has ever been fully diagnosed down to the T. So the reason I'm making this video is, one, I put out a video a couple of weeks ago just saying that I wanted to explore more content ideas on the channel and get more personal and kind of let myself be out there. Two... I've told this story so many times in so many different ways that when I started going back and checking my emails to see um, work emails that lined up with that time or doctor's appointments or things like that, I just started to notice that the story that I'm telling is getting, not that it's a lie or, or anything like that, but it's getting a little off from, from what I think actually happened. So this is kind of almost like for myself to get the timeline straight, but also to, you know, feel more comfortable and just put out there what it is that I go through or deal with because it's something that I don't tell everybody. It's kind of like, I wouldn't say on a need to know basis, but it's something that like, I don't mind telling people or explaining to people, but it's also something that if I just, oh, I have, I have arthritis or I have this or whatever, people kind of get like the wrong impression or the wrong idea of what it is so I was like you know I'm trying to make content that's more personal and put myself out there and I'm trying to get this timeline together uh, so let's just make a video about it based on the <laughs> I, I actually used to think or told people that I started to uh, deal with this when I was 25 based on the emails and and when the job I was working at at the time closed I think it was actually when I was 27 in 2015 so again I'm not a hundred percent sure the timeline might be a little iffy but the sooner I sit down and and do this like the closer it's gonna be to the actual timeline if I wait 20 or 30 years and then try and remember exactly what happened we're gonna get further and further away uh, from what actually happened Around the spring or summer of 2015, I was working at a job. It was a, a vocational school, and I was teaching Microsoft Office classes. And at that time, the school actually uh, announced that it was going to shut down. And so I, f I think it was May 2015 that it shut down. And that's the, actually the only way that I could line up the onset of my symptoms with the date is that I know it happened in like those last few months leading to the school shutting down. So basically the first thing that started to happen, and I remember because uh, I remember walking around the school when, when it like during this time and my feet hurt so bad, like for no reason. Like imagine you went on a day trip or something like that to New York and you walked like 10 times the amount that you normally do like you know you when you go to New York or a trip like that you walk around everywhere and you get home and your feet are like oh they, they hurt so bad imagine your feet started feeling like that every single day regardless of how much you were walking or doing 
So when they announced that the school was shutting down, I remember like calling out a couple of times and it seems like crazy. Like, oh, I called out because my feet hurt, but it was every single day just walking down the halls, walking to work, like my feet were stiff and in pain for no reason. And I had no idea why. And before I get into the whole story and get through it, I just want to say that I've always been a little overweight. Well, not o- well, technically speaking, I was a big baby, but like, you know, the first few years of my life, whether it's six or seven years, I was not. But then from then on out, I always dealt with, uh, you know, weight issues. And I had two parents that both uh, were diabetics. I still have one of them, but I don't have the other. Um, so growing up, especially with my mom, the weight issue was like a big deal it was something that she would, you know, I don't want to say pester or bother me about because that's how it looked through my eyes as as a kid, but maybe through her eyes it was concern or whatever, but uh, just, you know, the idea that, you know, your weight could bring you issues in the future, uh, the fact that, you know, your weight or, or eating sugary things, drinking sugary soda could possibly cause uh, issues with diabetes later in the future. So, like, th- growing up, this was something that, I was very anxious about, and my anxiety did not make me (laughs) lose weight or stop eating sugary stuff, but I was always anxious about it and worried about it because my mom was always in my ear saying that it was an issue. We go back to 2017, and I start having all these, you know, foot pains, and me going to the doctor, I never loved going to the doctor because I had all of these things going in the back of my head all the time about I'm overweight. I know I'm overweight. I know I like to eat and drink sugary things. So I felt almost like it was a ticking time bomb to get bad news about my health. So I never liked going to the doctor. So when I started to have this foot pain, I just kept on trucking. What happened over time is I would I started to get pain in all of my joints, Uh, not all of them, but like my knees, all my feet, my hands, my fingers. I started to get a lot of joint pain. I would wake up in the morning uh, very stiff, like to the point where like my, you know, like have you ever slept on your hands and it took like when you woke up and you realized that you were sleeping on your hands, like it was, it was stiff and swollen and it took some time to, you know, go back to feeling like normal. I was having, I was waking up like that, even if I wasn't sleeping on my hands. Like when I went to sleep at night, I would wake up in the morning stiff and swollen and it would take a lot of effort, you know, hot showers and and moving around to get my body loose for the day. And it started to become like a real issue because the pain as time went on, it got worse and worse. Uh, all I could tell you is I remember days just getting literally sitting in the bed and having to bend my knees and and put that effort to get up out of bed or getting up out of the car. Like if I went to work and I came home from work, getting out of the car, like I, I, like I'm not lying. I feel more comfortable saying this now that I know what was wrong with me. I could sit in my bed or in my car for five minutes just trying to talk myself into getting up out of the seat or getting up out of the bed because I knew the pain that I was going to feel in my feet and in my knees just getting out of my car, just getting out of my bed. And so what did I do? Like, I think people who may watch this are going to look at me and think I'm crazy because it's like at this point, obviously you went to the doctor and you found out what was wrong with you, right? No. So I started taking a lot of ibuprofen, which I think was more of a mental uh, thing than than actually helping me. I don't think it really helped with the pain at all. And at this point, the job where I was working at had closed down and I was just working at a pizza place that I had worked at since I was in high school. I worked at that place for like, from the time I was like 18 or 19 until I was 30. 
and I didn't always work there full time, but I just kept it even if I was working one day a week as like extra side money. But at this time, I was I was collecting unemployment from the job that had shut down, and I was picking up hours at the pizza place and basically working there full time. And and when the unemployment stopped coming, I picked up more hours. I was very like physically. I don't want to say uh immobile because I was walking around and I was doing stuff and I was working but I was like so you could just tell by looking at me people said stuff to me all the time like you're you know maybe you should lose some weight maybe you should you know get something like you could just tell the way I was walking around that I was in pain and I was having issues I wasn't telling anybody that I was in pain uh, and I wasn't telling anybody that there was something wrong with me, even though clearly there there was. And looking back on it, it seems so crazy. But all I could tell you is my thought process at the time was everybody told me this was going to happen. And now it happened. And and like the, you know, the eggs on my face, I guess, like so now you know, all these people were warning me, your weight, the sugar, your weight, the sugar. And it's not, I don't know if I thought I had diabetes, because I don't think, I'm not sure that these were any of the symptoms of diabetes. But for me, it was just in my head, like people warned me for years and years that I wasn't taking the best care of myself. And now I, I fucked my body up. And if I tell people that, they're gonna say I told you so. So I didn't tell anybody that this video there's people in my life where this video, if they were to watch it, will probably be the most information that they know about what I was dealing through at that time. So I was at, I was living at home with my parents. I was just working at a pizza place, and I was, you know, dealing with a lot of pressure from uh, my parents as far as like moving out, finding a real job, X, Y, and Z. And meanwhile, like I'm I'm dealing with all this pain. I'm like super depressed as I'm sure anybody who's dealing with all that stuff is eventually I got a job at like a car parts warehouse and I just did that to kind of appease people like look okay I have a real job now with benefits and x y and z and when I got that job I don't remember if I started looking seek I think I started seeking out medical attention before I went to that job but it was right around the same time I had either at what no, I started going, I started seeking medical attention for the situation before I started that job because I was on like the Obamacare, Medicare, whatever thing. The pizza place that I worked at wasn't, you know, supplying the health insurance. So I got it through like whatever the Obamacare thing was. So right before I started that job, I went. I finally went to uh, like a regular primary uh, care doctor, physician, whatever you want to call it, and she was like, "Yeah, there's something <laughs> wrong with you. I don't think it's anything that I could help you with because it's it's gonna be something that's more escalated than like basically." whatever medication or whatever she could prescribe me like she didn't as a primary doctor she wasn't going to have like the authority to even prescribe the things that would help but what she did do is she sent me for blood work and she sent me for x-rays on some of uh my joints so i think maybe my hands and my feet i went for x-rays for and and let me just add in, let me rewind and add in one thing, which is that before I went to the, what made me go see the doctor finally is that I did think, okay, maybe this is my weight or my eating. And if I do better with that, it'll go away. So like before I sought out medical attention, I think I lost like 30 or 40 pounds and, and it didn't help. Like I wasn't eating perfectly, so if it is a if it is or was a diet thing, I'm not sure I was eating well enough to solve it. But I did lose like 30 or 40 pounds. I was like the lowest I was as an adult ever, and it wasn't helping. So that's when I finally said, okay, let me go see the primary doctor or the physician, and I did. And she sent me for blood work and X-rays, and basically the blood work showed like 
uh, elevated levels of inflammation. And the x-ray showed that in some of my joints, there was like uh, ligament or, or joint damage that was, uh, you know, like coincided with ar arthritis.